maybe their computer being used in a public space and there's risks to someone else getting access to it, potentially stealing it, potentially getting access to the data that's on it, or maybe they're just browsing to nasty websites and they download something that starts logging and scooping up the information that's on the computer. Having Google Drive download your company data to their desktop is a risk. And so you may choose only to allow this for certain staff inside your business or inside your organization. Should I save my files on the desktop and then upload them to Google Drive or should I create them directly on Google Drive and then access them from my desktop using Sync? Good question. My strong preference for all things in the Google world is to try and do things using the Google format documents. And by that, I mean Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slide. It's, in my opinion, much more powerful to work with Google format documents rather than anything in the Microsoft world because you not only get all the benefits of the live and real-time collaboration, which helps when you're working with multiple team members, particularly in remote teams that are geographically distributed, but Google's got all of their cool features added on top that are AI and machine learning driven that help you get more out of your documents. And these really help you to have a interlinked and productive experience of documents that feel more like an app than they do just document processing. Things like linking to a task from a document and having that task arrive in somebody's task list, that's pretty darn cool. Things like having a spreadsheet linked to multiple spreadsheets live and pull in real-time data and have that data automatically updating graphs and charts, which could then be embedded live into a slide presentation and kept up to date anytime that data changes. These are all just part of the experience of working with Google Documents and they're just part of the Google format. But if you have to work with something outside the Google ecosystem, maybe that's a PDF, a video file, or God forbid, something in the Microsoft format, well, yes, the best place to save them is into your Google Drive. And rather than manually using the Google Drive in the browser and downloading them and then re-uploading them, even though there is one small advantage like version control being added automatically when you drag and drop files, this and all of the features of working online works offline when you install the Google Drive Sync app to your desktop. Now, it doesn't include a small security risk. If you're downloading a local copy of files, you need to make sure that your computer is well protected. You want to make sure there's some kind of endpoint management protection there protecting you from spyware and viruses on that device. And of course, you want to make sure that you've got a password policy so no one can just pick up that computer, open the lid and see all of your local files. But the advantage of having your Google Drive installed via the app is that you have the ability to open your files directly from the Google Drive app. It's going to save a cached copy down to your desktop. But when you're authoring or creating new files, you'll probably be more likely to be in the habit to save them straight into your Google Drive and that's going to synchronize them online. I find that anytime I'm working in any sort of project file, if I want to save that, I immediately save it to my Google Drive diligently because I know it's going to be backed up and saved. And unfortunately, while we may intend to keep our local backups up to date of data sitting on our computer. I know that not everyone plugs in that backup drive from time to time, and sometimes we just outright forget. I know that in my own case, I've spilled a glass of wine on my laptop before, I had one stolen from my car, I had an air conditioner drip and fill up a whole keyboard with water on me. This does happen from time to time, and unfortunately in that case, anything on that computer that wasn't properly backed up disappears. If I'm diligently saving things to my Google Drive, I know that they're going to be safe and backed up. So my recommendation is yes, that you enable saving straight into Google Drive by downloading the app. Now, there is one caveat to this, and this is that if you're running a distributed team across different localities and you've got staff in different geographical locations and they've got their own computers, BYOD, we call it in the industry, bring your own device. Well, you may not have control over what that person is doing with that computer. They may not have set up a password, although most operating systems prompt you and basically force you to set a password these days. They may have a computer in a shared environment where their kids are using it at mealtime or after meal, probably not at mealtime, after meals. <laughs> Maybe their computer being used in a public space and there's risks to someone else getting access to it, potentially stealing it, potentially getting access to the data that's on it, or maybe they're just browsing to nasty websites and they download something that starts logging and scooping up the information that's on the computer. 
having Google Drive download your company data to their desktop is a risk. And so you may choose only to allow this for certain staff inside your business or inside your organization. In that case, you may want to enable a policy called device approvals in your admin panel in your Google Workspace. And that's a good idea if you're a business owner who wants to be careful about what devices can actually access your Workspace account. So to do that, we jump into our Google Workspace admin panel. That's at admin.google.com. And we're gonna search for device approvals and find the security settings for device approvals. Here we go, settings. So you navigate to devices, mobile and endpoints, universal settings and security. And you'll see here that you can switch device approvals on. Now, this is only available for certain Google Workspace plans and accounts. You may need to upgrade to get access to this feature, but this allows you to quarantine any new requests for a device to get access to your company data and be approved one by one. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.